have got your attention. Welcome everyone, this is my first origami design challenge for everyone. If you call yourself a designer, if you have models under your belt, I'm calling you out. I want to see what you can really do. I want to put you to your limits. I want to push you out your comfort zone. We have all seen your spotted animals. We have all seen your waifu warriors. We have all seen your tessellations. But can you design what Mid Journey has already designed within Origami? How it's going to work is everyone that wants to take part and participate is going to try and design a model that has been designed by the Mid Journey Artificial Intelligence Program. Now, if you don't know what that is, Mid Journey is an online program which is an AI image creator where you enter a prompt into the program. The prompt is just a sentence, a word, describing a picture, whatever you want to see you describe. The sun rising over the nice mountains, you would type that and then hit enter. It would create images based off what you type. Now, I have been using it, if you don't already know, um, I have been using Midjourney to design origami models um, and came up with some pretty unreal um, results. So the challenge is, instead of me going, I want you to create a 500 head dragon with 10 wings, it's a bit unrealistic, so what's going to happen is you are going to try and design a model by Midjourney and the model that you will be trying to design and replicate, replicate, replicate as close as possible is what I call the dragon egg. Now, this is just unreal. I can imagine having this beautiful egg sitting right here glowing on the inside, tessellated on the outside, not smooth, it's all bumpy and jagged and it's rough and with the right paper and the right colour, if you could put a light inside and have it really glow and be vibrant and it would just be unreal. This was one model that really stood out to me from everything that my journey has created. I originally just uh, thought of picking, picking like my 10 favourites and then deciding what you want, but I think it would be better to focus everyone's attention on this dragon egg. Now, I would think maybe the end of December, so a month and a half, is that enough time to design something like this? I don't know, I'm not a designer, I don't know how long it takes, um, but yeah, I think a month and a half should be fine um, to get something so basically when you have designed this, send me your results, you can progress, update me along the way, you can send me everything at the very end, you can ask for help if you need it, um, just whatever you want, uh, make sure to send me your results by the end of December, I will try and do a completion video, maybe, maybe reacting to them and such, maybe January, early January or late December. So that is the plan, then what I'm going to do is put together a little committee of friends who have not entered and we will all pick our favourite results and basically share them everywhere um, to give uh, that nice exposure to those who entered. So a little recap, if you are a designer and you claim to be a good designer, I'm calling you out, don't back down. Let's see what you're made of. Let's see if you can create what Mid Journey has already created. Um, a good friend of mine, Michael, has just started designing. He has been pumping out designs and they have been really cool based off of Dark Souls bosses and cool monsters. He has really good folds under his belt and a very strong calibre folder. So Michael, I'm especially calling you out. I want to see what you can do. I want this to be a nice challenge for you and yeah that's basically it. I will also type it in the description if you didn't fully understand what I was saying. 
So yeah, that is basically it. Make sure to send me your results by the end of December. Update me as you go along, send me progress pictures. Come up with something extremely unique, like a tessellated form, like make a tessellation that's really bumpy and then form that into a dragon egg. I think that would be really unique. That's what I would do. Um, though trying to make it round without having the layers, like Robert Lang's vases, that would be the tricky part. You want it to try and be smooth as possible, but I will leave it up to you. Let's see what you're made of. Do not back down, do not fail me, and I can't wait to see your results of the first Origami Mid Journey Design Challenge, and hopefully many more. So that is it, that is it everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.